And then we got Ezra Miller. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it's like, man. Yeah. I mean, that's another thing that David Zaslav has to make a decision on is what's going to be happening with, with Ezra Miller because it's just, you know, as much as we're like, okay, Ezra hopefully is getting help, staying low. Nothing else is coming out, right? Nothing else is coming out, right? Nothing? No more? Not quite, because, well, let's face it. Um, the media, anything Ezra Miller comes across their table, guess what? They're going to report it. And uh, this is the new one right here, guys. The Flash star Ezra Miller charged with felony burglary in Vermont. Oh, fucking hell, man. Come on. Uh, but yeah, so according to the police report, Vermont, uh, Vermont uh, State Police were notified of a burglary complaint from a resident in Stamford at 5.55 p.m. on May. This is back in May. May 1st, police found that several bottles of alcohol were taken from the residents while the homeowners were not present. After collecting statements and looking at surveillance videos, police found probable cause to charge Miller with felony burglary into an unoccupied dwelling. Police located Miller on August 7th at 11.23 p.m. and issued them a citation to appear in Vermont Superior Court on September 26th. According to Rolling Stone, yes, yeah, we don't need a fucking Rolling Stone. But yeah, so apparently, a fr I don't know, this was some kind of friend thing. This was whatever. There's been, of course, this is back in May, stealing alcohol. Is it a felony? Some people are questioning, uh, is it really like uh, that extreme? But, but then at the same time, it doesn't matter uh, because everybody's just passing around going, Ezra needs to be stopped, needs to be recast, all that stuff. Um, and then, of course, you know, Flash Movie News, they, they posted that, hey, um, they posted that, like, hey, we, we very much know, like, a lot of things. But what's interesting about when it comes to the whole Ezra situation, this article also came out today, too, from The Insider. This was today as well. Takata Iron Eyes speaks out, says, Flash star Ezra Miller never groomed or abused her. So, again, going back to the whole thing where they're talking about Ezra grooming and abusing people and young people and all this stuff this also came out today too which is interesting now of course i'm not going to get i'm not subscribed to the insider but this article did come out basically stating talk how iron eyes told insider the flash actor never groomed or abused her she spoke to insider as part of an investigation detailing new allegations that miller ran a cult in iceland apparently miller and um, ezra is running a cult in iceland is traveling to the U.S. with guns. Takata's parents say Miller left bruises on her daughter's body, restricted her phone access, and verbally abused her. And she said, no, that is not the case. So there's all that, too. But like I said, guys, and like what I've been saying, we're all just kind of waiting for Ezra side to come out and just kind of be like, all right, what are we hearing here? And there's things that are behind the scenes. More people in, in, in the know that than I am. There's a lot of people that are more in the know and kind of more focusing on this thing than I am. I'm just kind of waiting, waiting and waiting for that side to come out to be like, what exactly is fully happening here? I mean, it sucks because everything looks bad and social media it looks bad. But then at the same time, you start looking at this article about, uh, you know, this whole new thing right here back in May and you start think, seeing that and you're kind of going like, Jesus Christ, like the, the media, the trades, anything Ezra Miller comes across their, their desk, they're going to put it out there because obviously it's it's the hot topic. It's a hot topic. And it doesn't look good. Obviously, now, you know, a lot of people are obviously going to correlate to the whole Batgirl being canceled. And they're going, why aren't you canceling The Flash? Why aren't you canceling The Flash? You cancel Batgirl that stars a Latina that's directed by people of color. They do that whole thing because that's the, obviously that's, when, when it comes to 2022, you're obviously going to focus on that. And, yes, the optics look bad. And you're going to keep the Flash going. Dave Zaslav, last week on your call, you're saying that the Flash is good and everything is going to be moving forward. They're still going to release it. Why aren't you canceling that? It's like, okay, let's pump, again, pump the brakes on that as well because – this movie is like twice as much, costs twice as much. It's got a lot more people in it. It's got a crazy multiverse goddamn story to it. It's a little bit different than over here. So obviously it's like, yeah, and, it's, and it was always meant to be theatrical. 
and they've already poured in a lot of money into that. So it's like, what do you do? You can't, you just can't cancel that. You can't cancel that. It's a little bit different than it is over here when it comes to Batgirl. As much as I don't agree with them canceling it, it's just a whole, it's a whole different beast. It's a completely different beast when it comes to the scope of both of these movies. It really is. That's why when people say that, and the thing is, they're going to continue on saying that, and it's, it's what everybody's going to always fall back on. Yes, the optics don't look good over here when it comes to Batgirl, but at the same time, it's like they're just not going to... It's going to get released. It's going to get released. And, of course, the whole notion of people thinking that they're just going to replace Ezra, and that would be pretty crazy if they end up doing that, but I don't think they're going to do that either. It's like I think they're going to end up leaning into the controversy. I don't know. It's just, it's all pretty crazy, but it's just funny how first that whole, this, the insider article came out and then all of a sudden we get this, oh yeah, yeah, Ezra, you got charged again for burglary now of alcohol and everything and back in May and I don't know. It's a lot of things. And again, I just, again, I just tell everybody, let's just be patient. More, more stuff's coming out their side. I mean. And Warner Brothers, I don't know whenever they're going to actually fully give a statement on the whole situation. I don't know. And, and I know with everything that comes out, they're probably just going, oh, God damn it. Like, ah, uh, more. 